in this class we are going to start our first physics chapter in plus 2 that is electrostatics and in our ncrt textbook the chapter is divided into two like electric charges and the field and then electrostatic potential and capacitance before starting the session in class 11 we have mainly we are discussing about the mechanics then uh, statics and the dynamic properties of fluids thermal properties of matter thermodynamics oscillations waves etc and in this year we have some chapters related to electricity magnetism a study about the properties of light electromagnetic radiations atoms nuclei semiconducting devices like that plus 2 is just a continuation of your class 10 as you know we are discussing major topics in class 11 as the continuation of class 9 and uh, now we have some chapters are already we start the study in class 10 like uh, electricity electricity is already we have a small description about electricity in your 10th standard and uh, we are also discussing with uh, the topic uh, magnetism moving charges and magnetism magnetic effect produced by electric current and uh, the deal with uh, light the properties of visible light the upgraded study of that one we have in class 12 and uh, this chapter deals with electrostatics is the chapter which deals with the properties of electric charges at rest properties of electric charges at rest and the first topic is electric charges and the electric field the concept of charges coming from atom john dalton's theory says that an atom is electrically neutral and uh, jaja thompson explained it uh, has equal part or equal amount of positive and negative charges but thompson's theory is as we know the well known model called the plum pudding model and that says that an atom is electrically neutral but he assumes it is a sphere a positively charged sphere and something like that and uh, again the theory is uh, modified by Rutherford Rutherford says that the electrons are revolving around the nucleus like uh, planets are revolving around the sun so simply we call it as the planetary model and then Niels Bohr explains or introduced the new concept of uh, quantum theory, quantum numbers all of these things are already you know in uh, class 11 you have a chapter called the structure of atom so the concept of charge is coming from an atom addition or removal of electrons causes charge if you have a charged body it shows an uncharged body means an uncharged body means we have an uncharged body which contains equal number of positive and negative charges addition or removal of electrons causes the charging of a body either like either positively or negative if we are going to add some electrons to a body by any method we have different different methods we can discuss that one in the next session we have different methods for charging a body by using any method if you are going to add some electrons the body will become a negatively charged body the electron excess body or negatively charged body if you are going to remove some electrons from the body by using any method then that type of body will become a positively charged body we have a neutral body which has equal number of positive and negative charges positively charged body deficiency of electron negatively charged body means excess of electrons we have some fundamental properties of charges <coughs> like quantization additivity conservation like it are those ripples and like that attracts etc so 
Now we are going to discuss with the, what are the major properties of charge. In class 11 we have a chapter gravitation and uh, Sir Isaac Newton's uh, gravitational law, Kepler's law etc. are explained in that chapter. In that chapter we may introduce the mass, the concept of mass and uh, we have some uh, properties. What are the major properties of masses like that? that. Now we are going to discuss with the, what are the major properties of electric charge. The first property of charge is quantization. What do you mean by the term called the quantization? It is the thing we are going to explain in this class. If we have a body, any type of body, any body, and by using any method, if you are going to remove an electron from this one, you are going to remove an electron from this body, it has the efficiency of one electron. The next possibility is the efficiency of an electron means one fundamental charge is removed from this body and a charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb is removed. By using any method, simply rubbing is a method to change or remove the charges from one body to another. A simple example is rubbing of scale or comb with the dry hair. Electrons are transferred from one body to another. Condensation says that we can remove or add an electron completely, which means a minimum of 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb charge must be removed or added to a body. That says Q is equal to charge of a body. Q is always an integral multiple of fundamental charge. An integral multiple of fundamental charge. That is, we have a body which has a minimum charge of 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. Next possibility is 3.2 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. Next is 4.8 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb, like that. In between these values, we can't charge a body because it is always an integral multiple of fundamental charge. And the fundamental charge is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. This property is called the quantization. If you are going to remove the electron, it will become a positively charged body. That is, it may be plus a D. For another one, if you are going to add some electrons to your body, it will become a negatively charged one and we get a negatively charged body. So, quantization, we have the relation for quantization as Q is equal to plus or minus in Plus or minus stands for the body either be positively charged or be negatively charged. But it must be an integral multiple of fundamental charge where the fundamental charge E is equal to. <coughs> 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. Coulomb is the SI unit of charge. And n must be an integer. n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. This property is called a quantization. Suppose a question uh, says that we have a body of charge 15 by 2 times of E. 15 by 2 times of E means 15 by 2 is 7.5. 7.5 times of E is not an integer. Either 7E or 8E. 7.5E is not possible. The property says that quantization. And the next property is conservation. Conservation means energy conservation theorem. We have energy conservation theorem in work energy and power. Law of conservation of energy. Then law of conservation of mass is there in fluid dynamics. Like that. A law of conservation energy states that energy can either be created nor be destroyed, but it can be converted from one form to another form. Here, the conservation of charge says that. Simply think about the previous example. Like, if you are going to rub a scale or comb with your dry hair, then, then some electrons are transferred from one to another due to friction between the two surfaces. If the glass rod is rubbed with the silk, electrons are transferred from glass rod to silk and glass rod will become positive, silk will become negative. 
A condensation size touch, we can transfer one electron, two electron, three electron like touch. Conservation size touch, the two are considered as a system, hair comb system, glass rounder silk system, system. Electrons are transferred from one to another. There is no generation of charges, no distortion of charges, just a charge is transferred from one body to another. So according to conservation of charges, it can, cannot be created, can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be transferred from one body to another. The next property is additivity of charges. Additive. We have two different kinds of addition like uh, scalar and vector. Algebra we have already been discussed in class 11. Motion inclined the first topic, vector addition. And uh, if the quantity is scalar, then we follow the algebraic sum, not the vector sum. Which means additivity says that if you have uh, some charges like a system, the total charge can be expressed as the algebraic sum of individual charges. The property says that charge is a scalar quantity. Additivity says that if you have a system of charges, if you have a system of charges, for example, some charges are situated in a container in anything Q1, Q2, Q3 and another charge Q4. Four charged particles like charges Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. The net charge of the system Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4. Suppose this charge is negative. Suppose this charge is negative, Q3 is minus Q3, then must consider it as minus Q3. So we can rewrite the equation like net charge Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 minus Q3 plus Q4. This property is additivity. Net charge due to a system of charges can be expressed as the algebraic sum of individual charges. And also we have some other properties like like charges repels, unlike charges attract. Just imagine uh, the two poles of a magnet, north pole, north pole. A very familiar example, north pole, north pole, two like poles, ripples. Also two south poles, if you are moving two south poles together, they get also ripple, like that. Two positive charges and two negative charges, we consider two charges, one positive charge ripples, another positive charge. Not always, we have discussed that is in detail later. But now, Simply, we can say the property like like it are the ripples and unlike the rest right. We can we have these fundamental or main properties of charges are quantization, conservation, additivity, like it are the ripples, unlike charges attract, charges a scalar quantity. There is no change in the magnitude of charge that takes place due to the motion or due to the speed. The charge can move with respect to any speed. That we say because uh, we have the theory of relativity by Einstein as the mass of a body change as m is equal to m0 by root of 1 minus e square by v square is a relation. v square by c square. If it is moving, a uh, mass moving with the speed of light, its mass will become infinity m0 by that equation. If V is equal to C, then M0 by 0 will become infinity, infinite to mass. Not defined like that. Theory of relativity is on the base of this one. But in case of charge, there is no change in the magnitude of charge due to the motion. These are considered as the fundamental properties of electric charges. Okay.